Hi and welcome to another video by Jim the Car Guy. Today this is the uh, the fourth in a series of, uh, of uh, videos I'm doing regarding uh, tools of years ago from the cars from back in like the, the 60s, 70s and 80s. Uh, a lot of these tools you guys probably don't even know but we're gonna see. Alright so I have a couple things here we're gonna talk about and then I want to see what your, uh, what your opinion is or what you think these tools are for. Um, first one we're gonna go with it's going to be this. And it's probably a little bit hard to see the end of that, but as you can see, it bends. And you can turn it. Okay? And again, take a look at the end of it. Alright? This tool was used on just about every General Motors tune-up that was done. You couldn't do a tune-up. Sorry about that, a lot of truck traffic again. You couldn't do a tune-up on any General Motors car without this tool right here. So uh, give me an idea of what you think this tool is and what it was used for. This one looks just like a normal, like a pencil, pen, something like that. But I will show you this. See the end of it there? All right. And we'll see what you think this one is for. This again was used on every tune-up that we did back on the, uh, the 60s, 70s, 80s, and even the older cars back in the 50s. Not that you guys remember that, but I do. Um, all right, so this one, as well as this one, very important on any, this is a General Motors tune-up. This was on every tune-up. Okay. Next thing we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about this. Any idea what that is? Again, this was used on just about any Ford or Chevy tune-up. If you had a car that was running really crappy, you could use this to get it straightened out. So let me know what you think this one is, and we'll see if you're going to be right. And the last one we're going to do today is this. Looks like a small miniature dent puller, doesn't it? Right? So we'll, uh, we'll see if, you, uh, if anybody knows what this tool was used for. This tool, when you did a, uh, a car back in the day, uh, probably like the 70s and even into probably the early 80s, you needed this tool. Without this tool, you were screwed. You couldn't really, you couldn't remove what you needed to get out. All right, so uh, this one, this one, and these two, all right? Let me know what you think they are. That one, what do you think this is? This one, this one, and this one, all right? I'm curious to see what you, uh, what you think these tools were used for. Um, but again, like I said, you couldn't do a tune-up or you couldn't uh, get a car running good back in the day without these four tools. These were so important that uh, this was like, this was like your, your, your main tools back in the day. This was so popular, you can see, it's got a little bit, put it in your pocket so you constantly had it with you. I will tell you this too, this end of it is magnetic. All right, I can't tell you how many times that thing saved my ass. All right, I'm not gonna tell you anymore because I know I'm gonna give it away now. All right, but that saved my ass so many times you wouldn't believe it. All right, uh, I think I'm gonna do one more of these. Um, I have a couple of more tools. I'm just gonna go in my cabinet over here. I'm gonna get them out. And uh, as soon as I have an opportunity, I'll, uh, I'll come back and I'll, uh, I'll do a, a follow-up with probably the fifth and last in a series of uh, what the heck are these tools used for. All right, as always, thanks for watching. Any questions or comments, send me an email. Be more than happy to talk to anybody about anything, and I can't wait to see what you guys think these tools are used for. All right, thanks again. I'll see you on the next one.